Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to add annotations to view charts. Look at this example, where a spline series chart displays weather statistics recorded for a week. Here, temperature value is shown in the y-axis. To enhance the visual appearance of the chart, the annotation image of the sun is near the highest temperature value of the chart. Now, let me show you how to write the code to add and customize annotations in the view charts component. First, I open an existing view application where I have already added the view charts component with basic properties. I have defined the spline chart as the chart series and bound weather statistics data to it. I have imported the chart plugin from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and registered it globally inside the API view.use to register all child directives globally. Also, I have imported the spline series module from the same package and injected in the provide option. If you would like to know how to create a view app and add Syncfusion components to it, click the video link in the card above. You can also find a reference link in the description below. I save the application and run it with the command npm run serve. Here, you can view the view spline chart with weather statistics data. Next, I will show how to add annotations to the chart. Within the chart code, first I import the chart annotation module from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and inject it in the provide option. Then, I define an e-annotations tag, which is of the array type and can contain n number of e-annotation definitions inside it. I want to add a single annotation, so I define a single chart annotation tag within this e-annotations tag. Also, I need to define a template with the appropriate name to add any customized HTML template value to it. To display an image annotation, I add an image element inside the template section. Then, I add a source path using the source attribute and a defined custom size for the image within this style attribute. Next, I assign this template to the content property. Here, you can see the chart output with an image annotation which is displayed at the top on the left side of the chart. Now, I need to set the image position, so I use the chart's coordinate units property. For this property, we can set the values either in points or pixels. I define the property with the value pixels. Then, I set custom values to the X and Y properties. Looking at the chart output, we can see that the annotation is positioned based on the X and Y coordinates of the page and is displayed at the top. To set the coordinate units as points instead of pixels, just change the coordinate units property to point and pass the appropriate X and Y values from the data source. Here, I want to display the annotation near the highest temperature, so pass Tuesday as the X value and 33 as the Y value as the highest temperature recorded. Checking the chart output now, you can see that the annotation has been added near the highest temperature value of 33. Next, I will show you how to align the annotations. You can align the annotations horizontally far, near, or center. Similarly, you can align them vertically top, bottom, or middle. I want to align the annotation vertically to the top, so I define the property vertical alignment and set its value to top. Looking at the output page now, the annotation is aligned vertically to the top. In this chart output, by default, the annotation is placed with respect to the overall chart area. If I want to place it based on the series, I need to use the region property. Okay, that's it. In this video, we saw how to add annotations to the Syncfusion view charts component. And we discussed how to position an annotation based on pixels and points. If you would like to see a working example from this video, you can download one from the GitHub link shared in the description below. I have also included a link where you can check if you qualify for our community license, which gives you a free license key for our entire view component suite. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.